Welcome to Lansing, your state capital. We've got a lot of visitors here, but I don't think any of them look quite so good as this, as you do. My, my congratulations to Michigan Pride and Michigan Equality for another successful event. How about a hand? And thank you for the hard work that you do day in and day out for the cause of human rights. On behalf of all Lansing residents, I welcome you to Lansing from the bottom of my heart. And those other folks, well, they're not going to get the key to the city. It's an honor to share the podium with such luminaries as Councilperson Kathy Dunbar author of Lansing's Human Rights Ordinance. Thank you, Kathy, for standing strong. This is an election year for Kathy, and I hope you'll help her. She's got to run all across the whole city, and we need to make sure she's there fighting for what's right. I want to be completely honest with you because I believe I can. The Pride celebration always stirs bittersweet emotions in me. I'm overjoyed that the LGBT community can come together and march with pride, especially in the city of Lansing, which I'm honored to serve, where I'm honored to serve as mayor. It means a lot to me that you're here. It means a lot to me as an American. It means a lot to me uh, as a brother of, of uh, Victor Bernero. For my brother, my brother Victor and me, Victor's gayness was often a source of pain and shame. It didn't have to be that way. My parents accepted my brother for who he was. The rest of the world seemingly did not. And now as I approach, as we approach the 20th anniversary of his departure, from this earth, it's hard to believe that it was 20, almost 20 years ago. Uh, I, these days are bittersweet because I know Victor would love to have been here and he would have been here uh, marching. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It means a lot. In spite of the shabby, and even cruel treatment that he received. And I remember many of those days he would come back in tears. Uh, sometimes, now we call them hate crimes. Back then, you know, it wasn't, we didn't politically, we didn't really have a label for it. It was just sick, cruel people. And sometimes it was violent. And I remember being so mad and wanting to go out and fight his battles for him. And I tried at school when we were young. But even when he was older, I wanted to go out and just beat somebody's face in because of what they did done to him. But he would even then say, no, no. Even if he was covering cuts because uh, somebody threw an ashtray at him or something. Uh, and it was strictly because of who he was. It was strictly because of his gayness. That was the issue. Now we know it as a hate crime. And that's why I fought to expand the hate crime. That's why I fought here in the legislature. Maybe I couldn't fight Victor's battle. But I'll be damned. I can fight him today. I can fight him. He was, Victor was always full of positive energy and love for his family. Even when he faced hatred and rejection in the world to his friends and family, he showered us with love. We knew. And even as he was dying of AIDS, now almost 20 years ago, and we have so much better medication and treatment, praise God, today than what we had then. We have so much better understanding. You know, some of his friends and family wouldn't even have anything to do with them that back then, once they found out that he was sick. But I know the joy that it brought to him, 
My daughter Kelly, she's on her way back from South Africa today, uh, having studied abroad. And I, we have pictures of her on his lap. I know what it meant to him, the joy that it brought to him in those final days. Uh, we stood by him, and we stand by you. We stand by all those victims of AIDS. Uh, we're going to find a cure. We're going to continue to work for more research for that terrible disease. And uh, we're going to give you uh, the love and the welcome that you all deserve. So, I know we're going to get some good news here today. It's good news that we're all together in this great loving spirit. And uh, I want to say you have the key to the city and really you have the key to my heart. Welcome. God bless you.